Soccer Football Saudi Pro League Al Nasser vs Al Okhdud Al Awal Park Riyadh Saudi Arabia November 24, 2023 Al Nasser's Cristiano Ronaldo and teammates applaud fans after the match Reuters, Ahmed Yosri, file photo acquire licensing rights November 27. Reuters, Al Nasser booked their place in the knockout rounds of the Asian Champions League on Monday as the Saudi Pro League side claimed a 0-0 draw with Iran's Persepolis despite playing most of the game in Riyadh with 10 men. The point gained ensured Al Nasser will finish on top of Group E despite having one group game left to play and seeing Ali Lajami dismissed in the 17th minute for a reckless tackle on Malad Sarlak. Only the group winners are certain to progress to the last 16 but Persepolis could take one of the three best runners-up berths available in the next phase if they defeat Qatar's Al Duhail in their final group game on December 5. Al Duhail are already eliminated despite defeating Turkmenistan's Istiklal 2-0 in Doha thanks to a pair of Michael Olunga headers. Al Sad, meanwhile, hold themselves back into contention for a place in the last 16 with a 2-0 win over Sharjah from the United Arab Emirates in Group B through goals from Gonzalo Plata and Baghdad Bounja. Plato struck nine minutes into the game after Darwish Muhammad parried Akram Afif's initial shot while Bounja headed in the second from a Pedro Miguel cross from the right on the hour mark. The win moves Al Saad onto seven points from five games and, while it keeps Bruno Pinheiro's team in third place in the group, the former champions are three points behind new leaders Nasif with one round remaining. Nasif went behind to a goal from Rezik Bani Hani but Mateus, Zafarmarad Abdurakhmatov and Marko Stanojevic struck in the second half to defeat Jordan's Al-Fazali 3-1 in Karshi and go top of the standings. Sharjah are second on eight points and could still advance with a win over Al-Fazali on December 4 while al Sad will need to defeat Nasif to have any chance of progressing. In Group C, Iran's Sepahan survived a pair of red cards to defeat Air Force Club from Iraq 1-0 in Tehran and stay two points adrift of leaders al Ittihad from Saudi Arabia. Farshad Ahmadzadeh gave Sepahan a fourth-minute lead but Mohammad Hasaganazad sending off in the 43rd minute was followed by a red card for Hadi Mohammadi in the 90th minute. Sepahan clung on during 10 minutes of stoppage time to take the three points and now sit in second behind al Ittihad, who defeated Uzbekistan's AGMK 2-1, thanks to a pair of first-half goals from Abdurazak Hamdala. Reporting by Michael Church. Editing by Christian Ratnej R. Standards. The Thomson Reuters Trust Principles.